As I'm sure you are all aware, Stardew Valley is getting a massive new update later this year. These are exciting times. And the community is buzzing with ideas and theories as we hang on concerned apes every word. A good amount of the content we can expect has been teased already. So I decided to let you all know the best way you can prepare your farm for this new phase. The previous 1.5 update already added a ton of new content. So I was not expecting too much when another update was announced. The valley already seemed full of exciting new areas and challenges and I struggled to see how it could be improved further. I was ready for some bug fixes, quality of life changes, and even some more modding support. But oh my goodness, is Concerned Ape surprising us this time? So first, let's have a quick recap of some of the coolest things being added in the 1.6 update. Concerned Ape has confirmed that we are getting not one, not two, but three new festivals. Two of them are being labeled as mini festivals, which has me a little confused at this time. What could mini actually mean in terms of gameplay? If it's similar to the night market, a portion of the map would stay open on the festival day and NPCs would still follow their daily routines. I am literally so hyped to see what our esteemed Mr. Ape has planned for these festivals. One of them might even be a New Year's festival. What better way to welcome a new year in the valley than a big ol' celebration? Maybe I'll even get a New Year's kiss? The second most exciting thing that has been announced is the tease of a new farm type. Many of our fellow farmers have speculated that this might be a swamp farm, but we can't say for sure yet. It might also be the big brother of the Four Corners farm, allowing eight friends to farm and thrive together. A bigger farm would also help out solo players, since this means more space for crops, buildings, and decorations. Or if it ends up being a swamp, more fishing. Farm is love, farm is life. Then we have the mysterious Jojo bird. The Jojo root has been quite stale when it comes to the end game. I find myself constantly sitting around the farm wondering if selling my soul to Jojo was really what grandpa would have wanted. Well, wonder no longer. This cute capitalist bird might just transport us to a brand new Jojo members only island. Perhaps we'll meet the farmer who sold out to the Gotoro Empire. Other expansions look like they could present us with additional skills which could also mean a more complex skill tree and professions. At this point, the possibilities are endless. Another quality of life upgrade will help us better look after our pets. Wait for it. With the 1.6 Starry Valley update, you can give your pets cute sun protection, hats, and we will finally be able to move their watering bowls. NPCs will also be able to just move chests to the side by running into it instead of just destroying it. Sadly, I'm pretty sure the incredible clay farming pattern will be removed, but here's one to fill the void. We can no longer accidentally pick up a rug while trying to reorganize furniture. I'm actually super happy about this one as an active decorator, and I can't even count how many times I've raged at this little bug. We know of other small additions like this mysterious fish statue and bigger chest type, as well as new NPC winter outfits and the legendary Iridium Scythe. With so much new stuff to look forward to, we can expect many small fixes and adjustments to the game. Now let's discuss how you can get your beloved farm and farmer ready for this enormous update. If you're like me, you've played the Jojo route more than once. If not, then this is the perfect time to do so. With the huge amount of Jojo content being added, including maybe a whole new location, it's better than ever to be on the side of the beautiful light blue progress. It's all well to live off the land and single-handedly prevent Mayor Lewis from neglecting the town, but Jojo offers a better way. If you're a good anti-capitalist farmer, cough cough even though you literally sell at market price. The 1.6 update is the best time to put up a new farm and focus purely on profits. I am fairly certain there will be all new rewards waiting for us at the end. All hail the bird! It's 
also a good time to rekindle some old flames in the valley. Maybe this cunt Robin wasn't doing it for you before. We know that our favorite townsfolk are getting new dialogue and I can't wait to romance each other again to see how they've grown since the last update. Maybe Maru finally gets a job at NASA. Maybe Sebastian gets to open a Stardew Valley music festival. And if you aren't convinced yet, Concerned Ape himself said that a brand new playthrough is really the best way to experience all of this new content to the fullest. So if you still have some unfinished business on your farm, get to it ASAP. Maybe you're Kanakli, the farmer's successful grandpa or grandma. We'll just pretend all the townspeople are named after their grandparents too. When this update drops, you're gonna want to experience it firsthand. And I know I'll be trying out the bigger new farm immediately. This is a real one for me, since I've been adding mods to the valley for a really long time. Stardew Valley's modding community has been pretty active these past few years, and their creativity certainly knows no bounds. While Concerned Ape has become aware of this and announced he will be adding more modding support to the game. However, this could change how some things are processed in the game's code. It's very likely that all current mods will not be compatible with the 1.6 files. So here's what you can do before that happens. First, check out your favorite mods compatibility page that I will link in the description below and see if the mods you want to use during the update will be working. You can simply hit the Ctrl F and search for the mod you want to see and if it's supported. Second, a lot of modders actually have already been given access to the alpha version of this update. So when the 1.6 actually comes out, you might be surprised to see your favorite mods are already updated and ready to work. Third, I found a guide for those who mods don't work and still want to play on the older version of Stardew Valley. I will post it in the description below, but be warned, I have obviously not been able to test it yet to see if it works. Use it at your own discretion. Unfortunately, some of the less popular mods won't be updated and won't work. But if you really can't play Stardew Valley without it, I suggest just being patient until the updated version drops. So now let's find out what features you guys are most excited for in this update. A little while back, I did make this post actually asking you guys what you are looking forward to the most. I thought this could be fun and make you all even more excited for the upcoming patch. Number one, I was actually surprised at it being the new farm type. And a lot of you think it will be the swamp farm. Here's to hoping. Number two being the new endgame content, which is the Joja expansion included. Number three being the new lore that could possibly be added with all of the new dialogue from our favorite Pelican villagers. Number four is the new festivals. I honestly thought everyone would be most excited for this, like me, but hey, to each their own. And lastly, the very best feature in the upcoming 1.6. Can you guys guess? Yep, the hats on cats and dogs. This is definitely the best feature Concerned Ape could have added. And that's it for today's video. I'm sure you're all brimming with excitement for the 1.6, just like me. I'm hyped over the moon and back and I will be ready to give you a full breakdown of 1.6 once it releases. I'm still quite curious about which festivals we'll be getting, so be sure to let me know your best theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and if you want to see more, check out my 100 day series linked in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.